We are back with Miss Shirley Ballas. She is going to continue giving us her expert opinion on what happened at the US Professional National Latin Championships here in Orlando, Florida. So let's see what happened. Our runners up, and I think this was the first US Nationals that I have personally seen them dance. Uh, they finished second in every dance. We had Trolls and Ina. So, Shirley, over to you. Well, I have to say, I am a little bit of an Ina fan. <laughs> I'm a little bit of an Ina fan. Uh, now, she sums up for me everything that is, this is who I am. This is how I dance. Take it or leave it. Don't really care. This is how I'm going to be. She's got, I feel like her feet are like suckers on the floor. You know, like, like, whoom, <laughs> like you... I, I, I will give you like a hundred dollars for every time you ever see that girl off balance and I would feel confident that I wouldn't be paying you any money. <laughs> She's got the most incredible sense of balance. She's got the most beautiful stealth-like leg action. Uh, it's, it's a quality beyond and beyond and it really stands out. It's great in all the dancers but in the rumba for example she's uh, she's just world class for me just down to everything that she does and the way she maneuvers these animalistic arms right down to the end of it fingernails and she'll get in a samba and she goes into her own world and she's batch cartering here and doing this and doing that and I'm like oh so yeah I get a little bit chills when I watch her because I feel it's so sincere and it's so real I f each time I see her she's consistent consistent but she can rise above it, or she's consistent, or she rise above it, but I never see her below her game, yeah. ever. So, and I got the privilege of watching her demonstrate at the Millennium Championships, and uh, my son was there, he was singing with his wife, and he goes to me, Mum, who is that beast? She's amazing! You know, so this is, this is a young man who hasn't been in the industry in a long time, mm -hmm. and uh, we were just both salivating there, so I, I am a baby. Now, well, when it comes to her young man partner, tall, gorgeous, beautiful blonde hair, and beautiful figure, I have never really overly been a fan uh -huh. until I think about the UK of this year when I really felt a shift in the partnership because I always felt that Ina was definitely the strength mm -hmm. and I was always drawn to her and not to him. But over the last three, four, five performances that I've seen them, I have to give him you know, I want to shake his hand, I want to say well done because he's obviously taken criticism here and there along the way that, you know, she's stronger than you or whatever criticism he might get. I feel his leading has gotten much more on top of things. I feel his personality has come out a lot more. I feel like he dances with his partner. I feel like he's really attempting to find his own way in the middle of his body mm -hmm. because in the past year or so, I. I don't want to say stiff because what is stiff when you're in the top six? It's in comparison to the other boys that are out there, you know what I'm saying? So, but he, he definitely wasn't the most musical amongst his peers. Yeah. But I feel that's changing. I feel there's a shift. And I feel whatever he's thinking about or whatever track he's on, he's definitely on the right track. And if people in front of him, let's just put it this way, people should be a little looking over their shoulders because I feel like uh, and for the first time yesterday I I was happy with my marks for him you know so yeah I, I, I like them and, and I applaud him applaud him for sticking by you know I always felt a little bit when I danced with Corky that he never always got the best rap Corky you know people would criticize and they would say not so nice things in front of me with him and it made it a little bit difficult and I always when I look at him I I wonder if he gets the same you know if he gets criticized but not anymore I feel like he a bit like Corky they come into their own you know what I'm saying so I think congratulations to him for finding his way yeah I have to, I have to say the same I, I this year has been incredible um, I saw him dance at Manhattan um, the rumba that they did was like Jesus Wow. Well, just, Off the scale. Yeah, and it gives you like goosebumps and it, it goes into a world where you again start to see now that male female role. Mm -hmm. But when you watch them, what I'm starting to see 
um, is that you don't really see the leading or you don't really see this or that. It's just all one. Their technique is all one. It starts down here, it comes up through the body. It, I just see the beauty of the whole thing. And I think at the end of the day, we want to be entertained, not educated. The education is for when you are you know, <laughs> off, off season and off season, yeah. you're learning all that. But when you're actually coming into the international, the United States Championships, we want to be entertained by what you do. And I feel that yesterday they were entertaining. So well done to them. I totally, totally agree. That was, it was great. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see who actually won. Hey, please do not go too far away because Shirley and I are going to be back with more from the US National Pro Latin Championships in Orlando, Florida. Cheers.